Our first guest is an NBA Hall of Famer, seven-time NBA All-Star and sports broadcaster. Now he's on a mission to help educate men about prostate cancer, which disproportionately affects African-American men. Grant Hill joins us live. He's here to talk about taking ownership of your health and talking to your doctor about prostate cancer. Hello, Grant. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Good morning to you as well. So I know you're probably pretty excited that we came off another gold medal winning appearance at the Olympics, even though it was hard fought. And now you've been given the reins to USA Basketball. So you have a lot on your plate in addition uh, to your broadcasting projects and all those videos you do with your wife, Tamia. I love watching you guys dancing and singing on social. So hopefully you still have time to do all of that. I do have time, and I'm grateful that you uh, are, are one of the few people out there who enjoy our videos. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I wear many hats, um, but this is something here and an opportunity to come to you today and talk about this Start Strong campaign is something that uh, is really near and dear to me and something I'm I'm grateful to have the opportunity to talk with you. So let's talk a little bit about that because you are involved in this mission to really inform men about prostate cancer, particularly men in the African-American community. I am, and, and, and it's incredible. This mission, I mean, you talked about the uh, how, how African-American men are disproportionately impacted. Well, uh, African-American men are twice as likely uh, to be diagnosed with prostate cancer and two and a half times more likely to die from prostate cancer. I mean, that's just incredible and one in seven African-American men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetime. Uh, and so there's so much here to unpack. And as I began to, be, to learn more about this, it was like, how can I get involved? How can I help educate, help inform, and help bring those numbers down and change this narrative? So uh, to be a part of this Start Strong mission, and to come on with your viewers and talk about it, and uh, it's something that, that, I, that, I'm, that I'm very you know, grateful for. Why is this in particular very important to you? And, and what is it do you think that keeps um, men from seeking out treatment options or finding out um, more about taking control of their health? Well, why is it important? I mean, first, I, I think to answer that question, I want to talk a little bit about being an athlete. You know, professional athlete, your body is your livelihood. It's everything. And so you are forced, you're conditioned to learn to take care of yourself, to, to, to take ownership of your health. Uh, well, you know, we need uh, uh, men to do this and have this same uh, attitude and mindset. You must take ownership. You must advocate. You must go get treatment. Go, excuse me, go, uh, go get screened. Go see a doctor. Find out what your options are. Prostate cancer is something that if treated, if, if detected early, can be easily treated. But to your point, a lot of times as men, as African-American men, but all men, we don't like to go to the doctor, <laughs> nope. you know? If nothing's wrong, well, why should I go? And sometimes even when something is wrong, we're like, oh, I'll be okay. Well, the thing with prostate cancer, there may be no signs. There may be nothing that, that tells you that anything's wrong. And by the time something is wrong, it's too late. And so we have to change that. We have to be more proactive. We have to be like professional athletes and take ownership. And I implore you and I implore all the women viewers out there as well, I know in my household, uh, uh, my wife is the CEO of our house. Right? She's the boss. And at times, she must remind me to go and do various things. So I think, you know, the mothers, the, the spouses, the daughters, uh, they can play an important role in nudging these middle-aged men, us, to go and get the proper help and treatment we can. And, uh, and so I, I implore all your women viewers to please, please do that as well. I think that's great advice. And coming from you, obviously, you have a lot, you've amassed lots of fans over the years from all the different hats you wear. We know that NBA training camp is now in session for the upcoming season. How are you feeling about that? Obviously, there's a lot of uh, talk about health concerns and things like that and how we're moving forward this season. But how are you feeling about the upcoming season? I'm a fan. I'm excited about the upcoming season. I'm an owner as well. The Hawks, we had a great year last year, but we kind of get back to, to normal. You know, we've gone through some a tough year or two, a restart in the bubble, but all these great players, they're healthy. They had an off season. Uh, so we can, we can now go out and watch these guys and see how it all plays out. So I'm excited about that. 
just as I'm excited about partnering with Dendrion Pharmaceuticals and the Start Strong campaign. And obviously, uh, I wanted to say you can learn more and access uh, prescribing information at the www.startstrong.us uh, website. Uh, but yes, attack, attacking <laughs> and tackling prostate cancer and this upcoming season with the NBA, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I want everybody to be able to be there and be healthy and oh, yeah. follow through and watch their teams and support their favorite players. Grant Hill dropping some knowledge and some great advice on us today. Thanks so much. To begin taking ownership of your health, visit startstrong.us. YCL will be right back.